Now that we have some idea of the time it could take to reopen the Brent Spence Bridge, experts on both sides of the river are assessing the damage. Yeah, WCPO 9 News reporter Kristen Swilly joins us live now. And Kristen, uh, by all accounts, we're in it for a long haul. Absolutely, and of course, just how deep the damage goes will determine how long it will take for the bridge to reopen. And we are being warned by engineering experts tonight that even though inspectors will take several days out here, it's likely will not be a simple solution that they find. The thing that we need to always remember is that this is unexpected. And with surprises come repairs that will likely span weeks. It's a very rare occurrence uh, in the last maybe 20 years, I can think of maybe three or four that happened in the United States. Engineering experts, both with decades of experience, say multiple large scale specialty pieces for the bridge may need to be rebuilt off site, then carefully transported and installed, all while making sure the bridge can withstand the weight of the equipment being used to fix it. It's a difficult scenario. You're up high in the air, you're over a river. Um, you know, the river's got river traffic on it and things like that, too. So you have to make sure that that's safe. And Andy Herman, past president of the American Society of Civil Engineers, says the fire, which burned at 1500 degrees, changed the chemical makeup of the steel itself, further complicating the fix. It takes time to do that. They may also take samples of the materials and send it out for testing to see if it's been damaged by the extreme heat over the period of the fire. The bridge carries more than 150,000 vehicles every single day. So despite the complexity of what comes next, ensuring both speed and safety is key. They're calling in a lot of people to try and speed up the whole process. But whether this will be a tipping point for a total replacement down the road remains to be seen. I think the debate over what's the long term solution is something that will continue. Kentucky Transportation Cabinet Secretary Jim Gray said the inspection process is ongoing and will likely take several days. Reporting in Covington, Kristen Swilly, WCPO 9 News.